What's up guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within, and in this video we're talking best no-show socks for men, and I'm gonna be testing 15 different brands. Oh, and before we get started, if you're new here and don't know who I am, my name is Koi, I'm the founder of Gentleman Within. I put out weekly videos on all things men's style, grooming, lookbooks, product, brand reviews, and all that good stuff. If that sounds good to you, definitely consider subscribing. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so you get alerts anytime I put out an update. All right, gents, so no-show socks are a game changer for men who want that stylish, sockless look without stinking up their feet and their shoes. These summer staples, also known as invisible socks or loafer liners, aren't much of a secret anymore. And myriad of brands offer their own version of the no-show sock but that being said not all no-show socks are created equal the first why wear no-show socks well for one is that you're going to avoid stink feet they also keep your shoes fresh and third it's a stylish guy's secret for a reason the sockless look has been on trend for a long time now and it's not going out of style anytime soon so for the qualities of a great no-show socks one is gonna be comfortable. Comfort is king, you know. You want it to fit well, hug your feet, and not feel restricting. The best no-show socks feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Two, you want them to be lightweight. It's summertime, and you want them to be, to be breathable. You wanna wear socks that are gonna keep your feet as cool as possible. Three, there's no slip. The socks should not be slipping off your feet. There's nothing more annoying than rocking no-show socks that keep slipping off your feet. Hate that. And so all brands feature that little rubber gripper on the heel, but they don't always work. So we're gonna test a bunch of brands. Number four, does it show? That's the primary reason for this video. One of the main reasons for wearing no-show socks is to have that sockless look. And five, affordability. You don't wanna pay 20 plus dollars for a pair of no-show socks. So affordable, great value socks are what we're looking for here. So the four pairs of shoes that I'm using for testing, number one is gonna be the Sperry Topsider Boat Shoe, classic iconic shoe for summertime. Number two is gonna be the classic Vans. Everyone and their mom are rocking classic Vans these days. So let's test them out with one of the lowest profile sneakers out there. Number three and four is the loafer test. And so we got a pair of bit loafers from Cole Haan with a pretty low vamp, but then we got the Jay Butlers with an even lower vamp. So this is probably like the lowest vamp shoe out there so if the sock is not visible in this shoe it's not going to be visible in any other shoe so before we get into the brand breakdowns and the no-show test i want to quickly mention that i have an article in depth ultimate guide article i put it together on my website and it is the ultimate guide it goes extremely in depth more in depth than this video is going to be or else this video would be like 30 minutes to an hour long so i highly recommend to check out that article i'll link it up there for you guys in the description below all right so let's start breaking down the 15 pairs of socks and doing the no-show test see you in a bit start off with features a us-based brand focused on performance wear so for the comfort and fit these socks are pretty comfortable they're lightweight they have a performance type fabric and they fit well due to the three sizes that they offer so i got a size medium which fits sizes six through eight and a half and as for slippage these no-shoe socks are pretty good at not slipping got a nice little silicone grip there as does every other sock brand in this roundup so in the no-show test features hidden socks they pass the test with two out of the four shoes they were fine with any type of sneakers and boat shoes but they may show with some loafers as seen with the bit loafers and the penny loafers in this test overall these socks are pretty good at $13.99 features has some of the more expensive no-shows out there so keep that in mind when purchasing next up we got Falk a German based brand and these socks are super comfortable they are really really thin they feel like the disposable kind that they'll give you at shoe stores obviously with higher quality fabric as for slippage these diamond grips here do a really really good job of holding to the heel so nope socks do not slip and as for the no-show test Falk socks passed on three out of the four shoes with the only one where it failed was with the suede penny loafers but there's just a tiny tiny sliver there so kind of give them a pass and Falk no-show socks start around $13 they're not all that cheap either but definitely high quality no-show sock here super lightweight breathable and really comfortable next up Ninja Socks. Ninja Socks are dubbed as the originator Zero Socks. They're the only brand in this test that offers a size extra small, so that's always good for guys who have smaller feet. I have the size small here. Socks are pretty comfortable, made of 76% cotton. As for slippage, sometimes it would slip, but for the most part, it was pretty good at staying put. It's like a mid-weight type fabric, so typically I found that the thicker the sock is, the more trouble it had and so it would end up slipping. As for the no-show test, these ninja socks really live up to their name. They are invisible on three out of the four pairs. Again, it is showing a tiny sliver in the suede penny loafers. So the bottom line, it lasted me pretty well. 
through the past two seasons and they stay hidden in pretty much all of my shoes. And starting at $5.99 a pair, these are some of the more affordable options in this roundup. Number four, we've got Cooper & Gin, a New York City based brand. So these socks are pretty comfortable. They're a rayon based bamboo. The socks fit really well. They're lightweight, but my issue is with the elastic bands. They're a little too tight and so it re it's really restricting and causes a little bit of friction against the top of your foot. And oftentimes I would get um, some marks there and it would be a little itchy after a while. As for slippage, these socks stay put pretty much all day. Got some nice grips there. As for the no-show sock test, Cooper and Gin, they are easily hidden on three out of the four shoes and there's just a tiny, tiny sliver on the suede penny loafers, but color kind of blends in with the shoes, so, so you don't even notice it. All in all, these shoes are great, lightweight, have great moisture wicking capabilities, and they have some really unique styles. Starting at $12 a pair, they're not that cheap, but it's pretty good value, I'd say. Next up, we got Taft. It's a shoe brand. They also sell sell some really cool boots. And so I think their socks are now discontinued, but you can find them on other sites like the Spoke Post or Gentleman's Box. These socks are made primarily of cotton. They fit pretty well, you know, it's similar to Cooper and Gin. It's got that elastic band that's a little too tight. They can potentially cause some irritation, but they aren't as restricting as the Cooper and Gins. As for slipping, these socks are pretty good at staying put. They have slipped before, of course, but all in all, they do a pretty good job of staying on your heel. As for the no-show test, the socks are hidden in the boat shoes and in the sneakers, but you can see a little bit in both of the penny loafers. And so it's got a two out of four grade there. And you know, it's a shame that uh, Taft doesn't sell no-show socks anymore. These are pretty comfortable socks. I've been wearing them for a couple seasons now and they've held up pretty well through many wash cycles. Next up we got Mack Weldon, a US based lifestyle brand that offers smartly designed basics for men. So for Mack Weldon, they only come in packs of two and only have one size and unfortunately their sizes are too big for my feet for sure. These are like a size nine shoes minimum, which really sucks because they don't really fit. So when I try to slip them on my sneakers, Fabric ends up bunching up and it just uh, is really uncomfortable. And then once I do get them in the shoes, they end up slipping right away. But these are their no-show socks. They actually have a stealth sock option, which is their true no-show sock. I don't know why two separate names for no-show socks, a little confusing. The socks do slip and these no-show socks were visible in all four test shoes, so it failed on all four of those, but I'm sure the stealth sock would fare a lot better. So these socks come in at $16.50 for the two. So it's not bad of a price, it's kind of middle ground, but uh, still a little bit expensive. Next up we got Chic No Show Socks based in New York City. So Chic's no-show socks are super lightweight. They have a really nice gripping system. So these are some of the best gripping socks I've worn. They got a really snug fit and these are really unique. These are their Invisisoft socks, which have this fur lining on the inside. So it's super soft, it's fleece lining, and it's a really interesting looking no-show sock. It's different from any other no-show sock I've ever worn, but it's super comfortable. The socks are great, they don't slip, and they passed three out of the four shoes in the no-show test. So the bottom line, they have the Invisisoft and Invisicool no-show socks, so it kind of makes them different from other brands. They keep your feet super cool and they don't slip. So that's pretty much everything you want in a no-show socks. And these socks start at from $6 to $9. And so Chic offers some great value for the price. For eight, we got Uniqlo, the Japanese-based fashion retailer. So for the comfort and fit, it's lightweight and it's pretty comfortable. It fits well for what it is. It's one size fits all, which as we all know, there is no such thing as one size fits all. So the sock's a little big for me, but it's got some nice gripping there. Socks do a pretty good job of not slipping. And as for the no-show test, they were good in three out of the four test shoes with the suede penny loafers, of course, being the one that it shows a little bit. So Uniqlo, definitely one of my favorite brands to shop. And these socks are come in probably the most affordable pair of socks at $3.90 or you can get three for $9.90. So definitely a great value for the price that you're paying. Number nine, we got Stomper Joe, which was formerly Jay's Barely There, a Chicago-based brand. And they were made of 77% bamboo. So these socks are super soft, they're comfortable, they are breathable, albeit, you know, being a little bit on the thicker side. They have this compression band on the arch of the foot and they offer multiple sizes and so the fit's on point. So I got a size a medium, got a nice grip there. 
that holds firm pretty much all day. However, in the no-show test, it didn't do all that well. It only passed with the Vans sneakers, but it was pretty visible in all the rest. So I'd say that these socks are much better suited for sneakers rather than boat shoes or loafers. And you can get a pair of three for $11 or six for 20, which is excellent value for the price. Next up, number 10, we have Stance, a US-based lifestyle and performance wear brand. These socks are really lightweight, one of the more lightweight socks in this roundup. It's got a nice three band silicone gripper. These are just one of those socks you put on and it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. And they also offer plenty of sizes to ensure a proper fit. I got the medium here. The socks are good. The grips are good. As for the no-show test, they passed with the boat shoes and canvas vans, but failed with both loafers. And so definitely keep that in mind, but they are pretty low profile still. And they're comfortable, have a great design. They come in at $10 a pair, which isn't cheap for socks, but I think it's a good value for the quality that you're getting. 11, we've got a pair of Thieves, a California-based brand whose socks and underwear are designed in Portland. So for branding, hands down, a pair of Thieves wins. I just love this little raccoon dude. That's their mascot. The most fitting sock in all the land. Sneaky socks, sneaky performance. Ready for everything. But similar to Stance, these socks have that three band silicone gripper, so it holds really well. They only offer one size, but their one size is a lot smaller than other brands, so they fit me really well. Fabric is a bit of a mid-weight fabric, got a little bit of a mesh top here. As for the no-show test, a pair of thieves passed in three out of four. It only failed with the suede penny loafers, as many of the other brands did as well. Bottom line, coming in at $10 a pair or you can get three for ten I think it's an extremely good value for what you're getting. Well, if we got etiquette clothiers they offer socks underwear and loungewear and swimwear of course they only offer one size as many of the other brands in this roundup do and these socks are just a little bit too big for me but they still fit pretty well they're really lightweight so it's an ultra light fabric similar to Falk and Stance it's got that three band silicone gripper. As for slipping, the socks um, sometimes slip. If the socks don't fit well, then more often than not, that they're gonna slip. And so that's why I like brands that offer multiple sizes so that, as for the no-show test, the socks pass in two out of the four boat shoes and canvas sneakers. They're good, of course. And then they're visible slightly in the bit loafers and you can see them in the penny loafers. But all in all, these are a solid choice and coming in at $14 a pair, they're one of the more expensive in this entire roundup. So definitely keep that in mind. 13, we have Pact, a Colorado-based apparel company. So these socks are made of 80% organic cotton and they are mid-weight fabric. They fit not so good because they are just too big. One size fits all. And I'd say it fits like a size nine, which I'm around like a seven and a half. There's the grippers there. As for the no-show test, this was the only pair of socks that passed with flying colors. It's very low cut socks. So it was invisible in all of the socks, which is kudos to them. And you can get two of these for $13 right now, which is a decent value. So the Old Navy socks, I was at Old Navy, I didn't purchase them, but they were decent. The, I didn't buy them just because I knew that they weren't gonna be a good fit. The socks were comfortable, they were a little bit too thick. The socks were too big for my feet, so they ended up slipping when I was in the store. And as for the no-show test, I knew that they would only pass with the sneakers and would be visible with the rest. So although the socks are comfortable, you can get a four pack for $13.99, which is a okay value. And lastly, we have Zederna, which specializes in natural foot care products to keep your feet and shoes fresh. So these obviously are not no-show socks, but they are a great no-show sock alternative, and they are pretty much shoe insoles. So these guys right here come in, I think they're like $16.90, and they say they last for about three, to four months depending how often you wear them and how long you wear them but they are made of 100 percent cedar wood and they neutralize you know any type of odor and smells and it absorbs moisture from your feet so you can wear them with loafers or you can wear them in sneakers with socks as well but they do smell fresh i wore them a little while now and they're still smelling fresh after about a week and a half of wear and they have another option which is the silver care version which is like 30 dollars and it lasts longer, so like for four to five months. And so obviously there's no slipping and obviously it passed the no-show test. One thing to keep in mind is that the sizing. So I got a seven and a half, my shoe size is seven and a half, but they're a little bit small in the shoe. So it doesn't really fit the shoe and obviously it's not wide enough for it either. So there's still some bare spots that it doesn't have full coverage. 
So that's a little bit of an issue, but not a huge one. But all in all, these are pretty great oh, no show sock alternatives that definitely worth looking into. And I was turned on to them from Baron Quadro of the Effortless Gent. He was talking about them in his no show sock roundup. So I thought they were really cool. Picked them up and they are great. All right, guys, so if you like this video on the ultimate guide to no show socks, best no show socks for man hope that you got some value out of this and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you're new here please consider subscribing put out new videos like this weekly yeah that's all i got cheers to your style and i will catch you on the next one peace oh man oh snaps there's a sock on my window pane